These families have a lot of pride in what they do. Um, they've gotten as much as they can get out of these, these barns and, and maybe have moved on to a metal structure or, or something else, but uh, they want to see, the, see it continue on and instead of burn it down or, or just haul it away to the garbage, let's continue using what their ancestors, their generations before, have, have uh, gotten a lot of use out of. Um, as our European ancestors came over, and began, uh, started a, a life here, and, and they understood that oak is almost worldwide. Um, European oak and American oak are very similar, and they realized that oak is a very good building thing. That beauty that you have to get from reclaimed lumber is, is just something that I really, I love, and, uh, and just get something out of it. You can't mimic the patina that you get from reclaimed lumber. One thing that I found really interesting was the some of the beams we got out of cattle barns have a natural round over from the cattle as they eat their necks rub against the beam and it's it's this beautiful natural curve that over decades of this animal feeding and rubbing and scratching and you just can't get more natural and, and beautiful than that to me it, it, to me it, it brings out a contrast and um, to me it brings out an idea it brings me back to that time when it was utilitarian, it was functional, um, yet it was the barns. The, f the first trees to, to be milled were usually the, the trees in the way of the barn. Um, so you have a variety of, of species of oak, of species of, of all the trees. Um, mm -hmm. When we get a barn taken down, it's not uncommon to get some walnut in there, some poplar and, and just some different kinds. and, and that's. That's great, I'd love to see that. Not an easy process to go from a, a beam that used to hold up the frame of a barn into a, a mantle. It takes many steps. Um, piece by piece, we, we slice and, and choose and choose faces and, and characteristics that we would like to keep and patina that we'd like to keep and that lose forever. Mm -hmm. The moment um, we mill it, you don't get it back and that's the whole keeping the beauty of it. So step by step every process someone is judging what face to keep what characteristics of the wood we need to work around uh, when i when i pick up a piece of lumber and um, I, I give it a good look over and, and i think of what i could get out of it and what i want to keep and what i want to accent and and highlight um, i think about the time it took and the effort it took to originally create that piece of lumber. Um, the old steam powered lumber mills, the hand hewn timbers, I imagine two, two men with axes shaping a square swing beam. Um, I imagine a, a community coming together and pulling up sides of a barn and pinning it together with trunnels. Um, I want to keep that feel. Uh, it's That beauty is, is something that you don't see every day and uh, it only gets more beautiful with age.